Hi Leos, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this reading is for October of 2015 for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising. In some cases, this could be accurate for a Leo North Node in your natal chart, or if you have a lot of planets in Leo in your natal chart. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for all your likes, your shares. And if you have not subscribed and you would like to, I would really appreciate it. Um, if you would like a personalized reading with me, because these readings are general, these will not apply to everyone. And I couldn't possibly make them apply to everyone. These are just general energies and sometimes specific messages coming through for specific people that need to hear it. All right. Um, that's how other people's spirit guides come in and they literally like yell like you must say this. Okay. So if you want a personal reading with me, um, go ahead and go to www.psychicsoundsbyb.com. It will be about 24 to 48 hours before I get back to you. Everything is very, very difficult at this time of the um, calendar just because of the fact that I am busy with the monthly. So it takes a long time for me to get back to people. Plus I have a full-time job and I'm renovating my kitchen and I'm starting a new job um, here next Monday. So yeah, I've got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> All right, but I want to get these out to you before the 1st of October. So let's go ahead and let's get started, Leos. The sun is in your third house of communication. So there is a lot, a lot of attention on communication for you, Leos. So you will have focus here and other people will have focus here. Make sure that whatever is being communicated about you or to you is for the best for all concerned. If you are coming across like a know-it-all, like somebody who is arrogant, um, somebody who believes that only their opinion matters, you will be shot down. Everybody will see it. Everybody will say, oh my gosh, I cannot believe she, he said that. And, and, and then it goes viral. Okay. That's what the sun does. Make sure everything that you do is above board and is as far as communication and short distance travel and contracts and negotiations. You do not want to be known out there as somebody that is underhanded or full of themselves. Okay. I mean, you can celebrate yourselves. If anybody knows how to do that, that's a Leo, but, but don't go too overboard. All right. Um, Jupiter is in your second house of self value and of um, the the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business that you run. So in this particular case, you've got blessings and expansion coming to these areas of your life. If you are a consultant, expect that your um, your services are going to be in demand. You guys are going to be super busy and it's going to be bringing in more money. The other thing, as you become more in demand, not surprisingly, you are going to be having a rather high um, opinion of yourself as it relates to your self value. So you may be getting pickier about your clients. You may be raising rates because you are so popular because you can. Okay, so so be aware that that type of energy is there. Pluto is stationed going direct in your sixth house of workaday activities and health. So Pluto is transforming your health. Pluto is transforming your workaday duties. There is something that maybe you had a plan to do something over here, but now that Pluto is done retrograding and is stationary going direct, those plans that you made, are probably going to have to get scrapped and you're going to probably going to have to start all over again because there's something massive as it relates to transformation within your health sector as well as within your work day sector. So what I just got for, for somebody is you're realizing that you actually have to go in and get surgery on something so now you have to take off work for a very long time that you were not anticipating and what is happening is now you are having to get vacation days and you don't have enough vacation days to cover it so now you're, you're having to supplement your income with something maybe on the side well, you know, you because you're not making any money, you know, from your full time job because you've been out because of something regarding your health that needed to be addressed through surgery or something like that. Saturn is in your fifth house. Now, the fifth house is all about children, creativity, romance. This means that there could be some tests and 
uh, some really large hurdles to overcome as it relates to these areas of your life. Now, why is this? Saturn makes you work for it. Saturn makes you say, Saturn's going to say, show me the money. Because if you want this in your life, this is what you have to do. If you think things are just going to be handed to you on a silver platter, you are sorely mistaken. That's the way Saturn is. So Saturn is now in your fifth house. So you're going to start feeling that energy in your romance, children, and creativity sector. Mars is in your second house. Mars has everything to do with... Um, you know, self-value has everything to do with, you know, the, the money you make. So with Mars here, you're very aggressive with the money that you're making. You're very passionate with the money you're making. You're very aggressive and passionate about your self-value. Just don't get overly aggressive because you'll 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 tick people off and, and you don't want that to happen because if there's anything a Leo fears more than anything is losing a lot of friends. They can't stand it because they like attention. And the friends that they surround themselves with give them lots of attention. So if they don't have that attention, they're going to feel like failures. So just make sure that you're not burning your bridges, so to speak, through this Mars aggressive energy. Until the ninth, Venus is in your sign. So until the ninth, Leo, rock it. You are one hot mama or you're one hot papa because Venus is giving you this glow. Venus is giving you this va-va-va-boom factor. But on the ninth, she leaves your sign and she goes into your second house. She's going to be blessing, bringing harmony, finances, um, you know, uh, love into your second house of the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own, or you know your self-value. So you are going to be just like in love with yourself again, all over again, okay? You are going to bring, bring money and harmony in through the company that you work for, the business that you own. So that is really, really beautiful, okay? Some of you, um, because of all this activity in your second house, some of you, um, are actually in modeling is what I'm hearing you're actually modeling so you're actually making money from your image excuse me as I knock my hat off you're actually making money from your image your your image out into the world your face your some piece of your body you are using some piece of your body um, through image as a means to make money and it is being well received and you are making a lot of money and you've gotten a lot of blessings through that so good job mercury is going as is, is currently retrograde but is going direct about right around the ninth and it's in your third house so you've got a double dip of mercury going retrograde and forward so I'm gonna tell you Leo's your communication has been pretty intense. I mean, you've had miscommunication, you've had too much communication, you've had not enough communication. It's been back and forth, back and forth, and you are sick and tired of it. You are like, I don't have time for this. Why can't people just ask me the question the right way the first time? You know, so this is what's going on. But it's because Mercury's been retrograde. Maybe people didn't know all of the information that you needed in order for you to make a decision or in order for you to make a make a give some type of uh, advice okay maybe they didn't know don't get mad at them for missing out on a data point that they didn't know that you needed all right so let that go okay and hopefully with mercury now going direct on the ninth you should be getting clear communications and things should be running a lot smoother as it relates to short distance travel communication negotiations contracts all of that stuff should be getting a lot smoother the new moon on the 12th is also in your third house of communication short distance travel commu um, contracts and negotiations so set your intentions on this day for the things that you want in this area of your life on the 27th the full moon is in your 10th house of career and status there is something coming to culmination there is something potentially ending regarding your status 
There is, for example, some of you that have gotten a divorce and you needed to get an annulment from, say for example, if you're Catholic, to get your marriage annulled, that annulment is coming through. You are no longer um, recognized by the church as a married individual. You are now officially divorced, okay? So that could be something that comes in. You could be going from single to married or married to single, okay? Because something is ending or something is culminating. So you have all of that activity. So anything pretty much goes as it relates to your status and your career. Some of you may be moving up in your career. Some of you may be stepping away from a career. Some of you may be stepping down from career. Some of you may be demoted. Okay, um, I don't anticipate that really happening, but for quite like maybe, I don't know, one hundredth of a percent of you that you could be, you know, potentially in a position where you've you've lost um, you've lost a job or a career opportunity because this is all about endings and this is all about culmination so there's something happening in your career and status sector as it relates to these areas okay Leo's let's go ahead and let's take a look at what your reading is going to be for the tarot for the month of October 2015 I do not read reversals I only read uprights I will be doing four cards I will pull one for general energies one for work and finance one for um, emotional life love life one for general health and then I will be pulling two cards one is a spiritual advice card and then the other one is a spiritual challenge card so let's go ahead and let's get started Leo's what do we have for general energies for Leo's for October 2015 why I'm having such a problem. Completely missed the mark on that one. All right, so what have we got, Leos? October 2015, October 2015, October 2015, October 2015. Okay, here's your general energy. What do we have for work life, financial life, work life and financial life. What do we have for emotional life and love life? Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life. What do we have for general health? General health. Is this it? No. Sorry guys. General health, Leo, there it is, popped right out. What do we have for the potential uh, spiritual advice here? Spiritual advice, spiritual advice. This one, this one, well, no, maybe not. Hold on, they all fell out at the same time. You guys might be just a little bit scattered right now. You, Your energy is very similar to the Cancerian energy. So there may be Cancer Leos that are really like the cuspers are really going to resonate with these readings so just be aware of that but okay so what do we what do we have general advice or um spiritual advice spiritual advice spiritual advice is this it spiritual advice and challenge what do we have for challenge what do we have for challenge what do we have for challenge challenge okay leos what have we got for general energies october 2015 for sun moon rising North node in your natal chart, Leo, or if you have a lot of planets in Leo in your um, natal chart, preferably more than three, okay? You have the emperor. The general energy around you is such that either you feel that you are um, on top of the world or you are the one calling the shots, or there may be somebody around you that is calling the shots. We will see how things transpire throughout the reading. But overall, this is someone that has a lot of control, is in command, who knows what they want, who has the authority to be able to make a decision. There could be, um, this is a card of Aries, so this could be uh, an Aries energy that is around uh, some of the Leos out there. So be aware that um, you know if you've got Aries uh, in your chart, you are probably going to be the one that is on top of the world, is in charge, and is calling the shots. Okay, so what do we have for work life and financial life? You have the Nine of Pentacles. This is beautiful. 
putting these the Emperor and this Nine of Pentacles together, you are kind of like doing your own thing. You are like so consumed with work and so consumed with things that you need to have taken care of in your life that nobody else really exists. It's almost like you're out on your own. It's like you're out in nature somewhere. You're gathering your thoughts. You're looking at your your um, your abundance that you've created, and it's just you're really happy. You're really content. You may be, um, you know, spending time with birds because there's a there's a hawk here, so that birds may be very important to some of the Leos out there. But uh, for whatever reason, or maybe you have. You know, maybe you're bird hunting, okay, because this is all about hunting as well. So you may have a bird as a pet, or you may be hunting birds, because the the um, the hawk is all about a hunting type of a bird. So in this particular case, you may have somebody that you know that is hunting birds. So for example, I live in the Midwest, so there may be some somebody that I know out there that's going to start pheasant hunting. So this is this is pheasant season, okay? So that might be what's going on with you. You might be bird hunting as opposed to owning a bird as a pet, okay? Or birds as a pet. But you feel like, you know, you're the daddy, you're on top of it, you know, you're the one calling the shots, you know, for this entire time. So that's how this whole story is playing out. As far as your finances, it's looking good, Leos. It's looking good, okay? You're looking at what you're bringing into your relationship or you're looking at what you're bringing into your bank account if you are not with anybody, okay? If you are uh, looking for a job, looking good. You may be starting your, your own entrepreneurial venture, okay? Because usually the Nine of Pentacles is about somebody that works alone, okay? Or you may be put into a position where you have a lot more um, flexibility. You have a lot more, um, what do they call that? What are you trying to tell me? It's almost like you're the person in charge of everybody. So they answer to you. So you don't necessarily have to show up to work at eight o'clock every morning. You could show up at nine if you wanted or whatever. That may be how this is playing out for some of the Leos out there. For some of the Leos out there also, you may just be happy in your own company. I mean, really, that's what this is about. You're just happy in your own company with your birds or with your, with your money, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, with whatever it is that you're doing. You know, so it looks good for work and it looks good for finance. So there's nothing really negative about this at all. Okay, Leo, what do we have going on for emotional life and love life? Wow. Massive changes. This is what's happening. Okay, so for example, all right, Leos, some of you did get a little bit too high on your hog. You got a little bit too emperorish like You put your foot down and you didn't take somebody else's um, advice into consideration and you just kind of did this dictatorship type thing. And what happened was, is now you've been ousted, you're sleeping in the other bedroom or whatever, and your, um, your emotional life has been turned upside down. Okay, so that may be how that is playing out for some of you in your emotional life and love life. For others of you, for this as your emotional life and love life, this could be um, a lightning bolt out of the clear blue sky like you bump into somebody and you're like I'm in love with that person I'm gonna marry that person I just know it it's almost like a bolt of lightning hits you and it's like as well as Cupid's arrow and it's like you know I'm done being single now I'm done living by myself I want somebody in my life and this person may be an Aries it may be the Emperor and you want to bring them into your life because now you're going from single to married or single to dating or exclusive. So it's taking your single life and it's turning it upside down on its on its edge. And um, it's changing the way that you, you approach things. So for some of you, this is divorce, bottom line. You're getting a divorce. You're looking at your finances. You're divorcing Mr. Emperor, control my life, get out of my life person. And... Um, and now you are getting ready to move into the, the new home where there's comfort, where there's extravagance because you there was a massive disruption in your relationship. Okay, some type of massive like 
what the heck just happened here? Excuse me? Did I hear that correctly? That's what I'm hearing, you know, from, from some people. It, from some people, too, it's almost like I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe what I'm just seeing here. This is unfreaking believable that my partner did that, you know. So, so just be aware that this energy is out there right now. This could be somebody else seeing you and literally coming to you bold like the emperor and saying, I think you're the beautiful thing that ever walked the face of the planet and I'm going to marry you because they've been hit by the lightning or by, by the, the, the bolts of lightning and their world has been turned upside down. Okay, so be aware of that energy, Leo. What do we have for general health, Leo? Aha. We have the Four of Cups. Leo, there are people bringing opportunities to you to, to better your health, but you're looking at it kind of like, eh, I really don't want to get into that right now. I don't really want to do that. But really, it is a gift from God. You should do it. So if somebody says, hey, let's go join the gym, go. Jo join the gym. Because there's something about this that tells me that you're going to regret it if you don't. Okay, this is like this is like God coming in and giving you a gift, but you're too distracted by other things. Maybe you're distracted by this divorce or the separation or breaking up with your boyfriend or girlfriend, and you've got somebody giving you a gift of emotional love and compassion and kindness, and you're like you're looking at it like Psh, I don't want anything to do with that. You know, it, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just over it. You know, I'm the king of my castle. I don't care, but you know. That, that's that's just what it is and I'm comfortable where I'm at so I, I really just don't care you know and for others of the Leos out there there is something as it relates maybe to a project that you were working on by yourself that you thought was going to bring a lot of value or you were going to make money off of but turns out that it it did not have legs to stand on there's no way that it would have been able to make pass muster with regulation, with law, whatever, and your world is crashing down. This particular project is crashing down. So I'm hearing for some of you out there that are in um, legal studies, uh, law studies, um, if you're a lawyer, if you are thinking of, of going in balls to the wall, you may want to reconsider that, all right? You may want to go back to your your special place and rethink the strategy, rethink the thesis, rethink the paper, okay? Because it's almost like you've got your mindset on a certain way this needs to look, but there's some type of an idea, like even through passing, like somebody passing, um, you know, by you and says something or or someone at school says something, or or your creative writing teacher says something, and you know, you're like, it turns a light bulb on, you know, it's like a lightning bolt hits, turns that lightning bolt on, and you're like, wait a minute, I've been going down from, in this particular area, like administrative law, I should be going to, or specializing in medical law, or something like that. So, so just be aware that that energy is out there because there's some type of um, communication coming in. You see, that's a gift. It's almost like it's intuition that's coming in. You may be intuiting that something is going on in your relationship that, that you're like, okay, what is he or she doing? What is going on here? What don't I know? All right, you're intuiting something and you're intuiting that it's not good. So what you do then is you approach the individual and say, okay, what the heck is going on in this relationship? What is it? Am I hearing what I thought I heard? Did I see what I thought I saw? Da 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 da. And then you may consider, based upon whatever information is shared between the two of you, or whatever, or whatever facts get get factualized or get verified, you may be packing your bags and saying, I'm single again, I'm out of here. Okay, so just be aware that that energy may be there for you. So what do we have for spiritual advice? Initiation. 
Leos, you are being initiated. There is something about this situation. It is definitely has to do with this tower, and it definitely has to do with this emperor. But there is some type of an initiation as it relates to all of these energies around you, especially with the emperor here in the month of October of 2015. Embrace the initiation. Don't hide your head in the sand. If something is wrong, address it. That is what you need to do. If you don't, your world is going to come crashing down. So, so please be aware that um, this initiation is here for you to be able to address things that you've wanted to address for a long time. Okay, so what do you have for your challenge? Grounding. Your challenge is grounding. So some of you may actually be having a problem um, if you are building a home or you are with plans with a home, there may be trouble with getting electricity grounded. This could be potentially somebody's getting electrocuted. That's a Leo. And I hate to say that. Make sure that your electricity is grounded. Some of you are getting a shock, okay? That's what's happening. Somebody's going to be getting electrocuted over and over and over again as it's like a Leo. So if you if you keep on the cycle, here's your electrocution and grounding. This is a perfect combination of building a house, renovating an old house, fixing electrical stuff. Make sure that the electricity is grounded wherever you are at. If that electricity is not grounded and you walk in water, you are electrocuted. All right. Be very, very careful. All right. Where, what do they do? The, um, the rubber soled shoes, whatever it is. Um, just make sure, like, if you see any lines around your home that are kind of waving back and forth, you know, and they, they don't look very stable, call the electrical company. Some of you may be having problems with your electrical company, period. So just be aware that there may be an electrical fire in your home. So if your electricity is not up to snuff, you need to look at that. You need to ground that electricity. Very, very important. All right, Leo's very important. For most of you that have no problems with electricity, um, make sure that you are grounded. Make sure that you are going outside, you're sitting in the earth, and you're grounding yourself in the earth, and you're calm, you're meditating, almost kind of like this guy. It's almost like this guy here, say he's you. This guy is you, he's out, he's sitting on the earth, He's thinking about things. He's in meditation. And while he is in meditation, here comes the intuitive gift from God that he's been so desperately looking for. All that was needed was for him to get rid of all this rat race around him to center himself so that he can get the message that he needs. Okay? It's all about grounding. All right, Leos, that's what I have for you for October of 2015. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch these videos. I wish you much light, much love, and many, many blessings, my dear Leos. Namaste.